Hello again, James Wilstrup from the squash venue. Um, I just thought I'd, uh, I'm waiting for a match right now. So um, I just thought I'd um, just show you the physio room and the sort of warm up areas of the squash uh, arena. I'm just sat in a very quiet place right now that I found. I managed to try and find these places where all the physios uh, do the work on the players. Um, it's a um, really good space, actually. Um, quite cool, which is really, really helpful in this weather because it's been uh, hot. Um, so yeah, it, we just, it's a good place to use actually to come in here, especially before the match. If we come out into the main bit. You've got the main sort of public area with a the cafe there. This is at Scott's Toon. Some changing rooms. Through here you have the uh, table tennis warm-up area. You can see some of the countries practicing. Through there's the squash. I'm going to stay away from there as long as I can. While I'm uh, getting ready, getting nervous for the match. Um, I've got an 8.15 match tonight, so it's quarter past seven now. Um, so yeah, it's that sort of funny time when you're just waiting around really and trying to uh, occupy yourself. Um, getting, you can't do much, you need to keep relaxed. So I'm just pointing the phone at the mirror. And I've obviously got all the stuff ready, the bag and the rackets and the 32 bottles of water that are going to be needed tonight. This is a very important piece of material when you're at the Commonwealth Games. This is a um, this is your accreditation and uh, this gets you everything. Um, I went into Glasgow a couple of days ago and I forgot that you can't just wave this thing around and you get everything free and everyone smiles at you and you get pampered and all this sort of thing and you can just get a free massage um, so yeah um, when you go out of the Commonwealth Games bubble this is doesn't really hold much power but while you're in it it gets you everywhere and it gives you lots of free stuff so um, yeah an hour to go till match time so a little bit of lying down a little bit of phone time bit of reading and uh, hopefully we'll be ready to go on court into in front of 1500 people again